Welcome to You Can Do It. This is part of the mini mini refresh series. Um, today we've just been looking at how to get off. What we're going to do is we're going to replace these back plates because they're renowned for just rotting to rotting to, to shit. They're actually quite expensive, about £40 a piece. But while I'm here and I've got everything off and I'm waiting for the clutch to be delivered, I'm going to um, replace these, okay? So I know for a fact, before we even start, that the four bolts that hold that on are going to be uh, um, C-solid and I've got a tiny little... Um, torque bit so you can't use that because that'll ra round off so i'll show you how to do that so first things first what we're going to do we've got to take the caliper off take the caliper the caliper and the carrier off and then we take the disc off and then we can get to it okay so get to get the caliper off i think that's a 13 mil there that's a 13 and that's a 17 in there so you need 13 mil on there 17 on there to stop it and undo it same on the bottom we'll do that and then we can take this caliper off so let's get on and do that those two are off, right, which then means we can get this off, look. Now, if, if you can't, if it's tight, you can just put a, a lever in there and gently lever this, but this is, this should, should come off. This is just a caliper, right? This is just if you're changing a set of discs. There you are, look, the caliper's come off. Now, I'm gonna paint those up because they're filthy. I'm going to, and this is going back into Austria, so it's gonna get covered in salt and stuff. So I'm just gonna paint all those up, but that's for another job. Now, you shouldn't be leaving that like that. So I'm going to put that there, I'm going to get a little table, cable tie and hang that up so it's not hanging on the, on the cable there. On the, on right, the so pipe. now what we've got to do, we've got to do this bolt here and this bolt here, okay? So we're going to get a little bit fairly tight, so we just need to get a long lever on them, and get them undone, and then we can take this whole carrier so off. That, those, so the caliper's off now, so the caliper's come off that way. Look, so we're just left with the disc there. So I'm going to take those pads out and clean it up and paint it. Um, but that's when the video is not about that. So now what we've got to do is take that one there, which is a torque bit, and take that, uh, take this one off here. We'll undo that and take the disc okay. off. So we're here. So these are there. They're seized in there. There's no way they'll come un un undone. Um, it's a T25 bit. So you put that in there. You can start, when you're trying to turn it, you can feel, you can just feel the thing's going to shear off or whatever. So what you do, the first thing to do is warm this up by hitting it like that with a, with a I'm trying to do this one-handed, but real hard there hold that and hit it really hard on there yeah do that a few times just to loosen that up yeah so then what we do is you get yourself this is a this was a dot punch this was like basically a, a punch and i basically like i don't know if you can see that basically i've uh, ground it so it's almost like a like a screwdriver end but it's just it's a, it's not too sharp but it's it's but it's uh, it's got about one millimeter flat on it okay so we start hitting First of all, hit straight down on the center line, yeah, just to make a notch in it first. And then once you've got it on the center, you can move it just a little bit off center, not a lot, or you'll slide off. But just put a crack in it, not crack in it, a, a dent in it. And then you can just put a little bit slightly off center and you just keep tapping. And let me try that first. Right, look, you can see there, I've put a notch in it and now I'm starting to try and knock it at a slight angle. And it won't go straight away, you just gotta keep hitting it. Yeah, and it'll it, with the good thing with the punches, it should feel absolutely rock solid when you hit it. It's like hitting hitting stone. Yeah, let me count. Just carry on topping, tapping. Right, away so like that's that. gone. That's moved. I felt that move round. Okay, so I'm now going to just try that one. There's another one there, another one there. Okay, so let me do all those, and then I'll come back. Okay, back on this one. Look, got my torque in. Look, yeah, there you are. Come off. Look, but that is how you get those bolts out. The only way really but they're not corroded obviously in the threads it's just that head it's just ridiculous so i've got i've bought some stainless steel ones to go back in there because they always get messed up so look there's just such a tiny little torque bit in there yeah so that's it so you just go around now we'll do all of them okay so those four bolts are off you get this scrappy busted up the whole thing look you see it all gone down there at the bottom I mean, it's lasted well. Must be what, eight to fix 16 years old? Um, 40 or 15 years old, but it's done well. So we've got some uh, zinc plated ones coming, which should be nice, they won't rust. Okay, so what I'm gonna do now is clean all that up. And um, I've got stainless steel ones of those to put in. So, hope this video has helped. Hopefully someone's found it useful. If you like the channel, subscribe, uh, send me a comment, and uh, I'll answer it. Just remember, you can always do it.